Hello, I'm Murray Newland. You're watching Murray Newland's TV and Tube Time. Today I'm speaking with Liam. He's recently started really taking off as a successful YouTuber. Liam, how did you get into making YouTube videos? Um, well, it started about four years ago. I mean, I had one channel called Youngy199 and it just started off just doing stupid videos, my friends, you know. Like, um, my first video was someone falling off a bike or something. Yeah. And then it progressed from there. And then a few random people started commenting, and I was like, wow, that's, that's really cool, like <laughs> And then it just escalated from there. Um, I started making stuff like vlogs and little short films. Did gaming on that one channel, but then it got um, removed so I couldn't make money. So that's when I made this new channel and come up with the idea of doing rants. And it's gone really well from there, so yeah. That's the kind of thing that you get a lot of engagement with. People want to comment, they want to give their input in. So how did you come up with the idea of doing rants? Um, you know, I was just sitting in my room one day and I was watching this person who recently interviewed called Jack Mate. And uh, yep. he used to talk on Skype and I was like, oh, I really need some video ideas. And I was moaning about things. And then Jack Mate said himself, he says, oh, you should do rants like me. And I went, you know what, I'm actually going to go for it. Do you mind if I do? Because I don't want to be copying or anything. He went, now nah, go for it, man. So, yeah, that's where it come from. And then ever since, I've just gone my own way. What would be your uh, tips for someone trying to get more engagement from their fans? What are some of the, the things the fans have said that you really loved and have really motivated you? Um, just giving me feedback on the video, just telling me that they like me, just makes me feel really good about myself. Um, just shows that the work I'm putting in is, like, you know what I mean, doing well. Like, um, um, like it shows that um, they're enjoying my content. So yeah, um, the tips I'd give, probably get a Twitter account so you can follow, so you can interact easily with your followers because yeah. you've got it for, yeah, and you can put it on your phone and everything's quick and easy. Um, don't spam people. So like, meaning don't go up to big YouTubers and comment saying, oh please check out my channel because you're going to get nowhere with that. Just be yourself at the end of the day. Um, if you don't like the content you're putting out, don't put it out because no one else is going to like it. Probably, if you yeah. think it's funny, then put it on and see how it goes from there. And who are your favourite YouTubers? My favourite YouTuber of all time is probably Syndicate. He's a gamer and he's also a vlogger. Um, I met him at a meetup once, a meetup being a game, gaming convention called Gamefest. That was right. in 2011. I met him there and he's an awesome guy, so he's my favourite YouTuber. Um, <clears throat> I like Toby Turner, Tobuscus. His videos are amazing, he's just so funny and he seems like a dead, dead to earth person. Um, I watch, I also watch Jack Matt, as you should probably know, um, just being that he just rants. Um, there's loads. Oh. Uh, I watch a lot of gamers doing vlogs. Um, a game called KSI. KSI LOG the BT. He does reaction videos to like that new game that's coming out and that if you might I don't know if you've heard of it, but it seems to be going mainstream at the moment and he does a lot of vlogs as well. Uh, mostly gamers who do vlogging. a uh, game called C Nanners. Um people like Charlie's so cool like yeah. I used to watch it. I don't watch him as much anymore, but I do enjoy his content. I also watch um, a, not a massive channel, um, one of my friends, he's kind of a friend. Um, a channel called TGF Bro, TGF. They're like a group of three lads, and they do stuff. They do stuff like um, Jackass style, like stunts and that. And they go out in the public and just do things, such as another channel called the Janoskins. They're Australian. Yep. Uh, they they do like crazy things as well. So I like watching them. And yeah, that's about it. That's all the kind of channels that I like. That's great. So if you're watching this video and you would like us to interview one of those people, please tweet this show at them and ask them if they can please be in one of these interviews and CC me on the tweet and my Twitter address will be in the notes below. So okay, so let's get a bit personal. So what are some things that some of your fans don't know about you? Um, the biggest thing that the fans don't know about me, I don't really portray it through my videos because I don't do stuff like vlogs and I don't get personal. But the biggest thing that they don't know about me is that I've got OCD. I've got it quite bad actually, like everything in my room 
it's completely organised. Like there's a remote there, it's completely straight and stuff like that. It just gets me organised, but it's just a way of life at the end of the day. I mean, I'm always doing it like just stupid things. Like I've got to keep a pattern on my fingers. I'm not going to get into detail, but from the my personality in the video, you wouldn't think that I'm like that. You just think I'm like laid back, but. Now nah, I'm like messed up, man. <laughs> but, but you use that obviously with a with a positive spin in your life. Like you use that OCD to be positive in your life, really. Yeah. Well, it keeps me organised. Like with the videos, every, I'm a bit of a like considering I've got OCD. I'm a extreme perfectionist. Like at the end of my vid the videos, I've got to get them perfect. Like the audio and sync and everything. And on my desktop, the folders are just crazy. I've got about 50 folders with completely different things in all set up and everything. My laptop, I mean, I've got a monitor there, monitor there, monitor there, and they've all got to be exactly in line. And it just helps me organise things. And with my life, I mean, college, I'm in college now. And so everything does that, I've got, does just, that bag, approach... just my bag of folders and stuff. I know that's completely off topic to, to do with YouTube, but being it's a way of life, that's what I'm like. Just organised. Does that affect your, uh, your relationships with with girls, with other people? No, no, not at all. Um, so who was your first girlfriend? Who was my first girlfriend? Yep. Back in like primary school, I don't, I can't even remember her name. It wasn't nothing serious to be honest. Just like, no, nothing serious, just a bit of a fling. That, that, that like, what you do in primary school, but like, first proper relationship I had was about two years ago. Um, and have you met any? Have you made any relationships through YouTube? I've made some. I've made um, loads of friends. I mean, I talk to people from America, and it's a it's really it's a really small world because I was talking to. Funny enough, I was talking to a YouTuber called Shane Dawson. You've probably heard of him. Yeah. Um, and he's another. If you want to know, he's another YouTuber that I enjoy. But I was talking to him. I don't know how I was talking to him through like a live stream, and I got on one of the cameras, and I thought. This is where I got bigger, this is, well, not big, but this is where I progressed, like, my followers got bigger, my subscribers got bigger. Um, he said, someone sing to me, and he unmuted me, and I just thought, let's go for it, let's see if anyone follows, this is my opportunity to get a lot of people, because there's a lot of people there. I, I think I sang Happy Birthday to him, to the theme of Friday, and Rebecca Black or something, just being funny, and everyone was going, oh my god, Liam, you're a legend, you're a legend, and I put my Twitter link, and he was like, oh, I'll follow you. And then... It went from there, and then someone in the stream tweeted at me. I got talking to him, and I'm really good friends with them. I got talked to them on the phone and everything, and they live about 20 minutes away from me. Wow. And I'm like, it's crazy. It's yeah. a small world, and like, we're really good friends. Um, so what's your what's your Twitter hashtag for those watching the show who want to connect with you? A hashtag to connect with me. Yeah. Um, well, my Twitter is at underscore Liam Young. Um, to hashtag, hashtag, um, either hashtag ask Youngie if you want to get involved and ask me questions about stuff, or hashtag, um, you're a twat. <laughs> Liam, it's been wonderful to speak to you. I wish you every success with your channel and yourself. Um, Thank you. It's been a great opportunity being able to come on the show and everything, so thanks Thank a lot. You. I'm Murray Newland, you're watching Tube Time. As I've said, we'd love your comments below. We'd love you to subscribe to the channel. But also, if you want us to interview your favorite YouTube celebrities, then tweet them and ask, tweet them the show and say, you must be on this show. I'm Murray Newland, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>